everybody. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Well, welcome. Let's see if we can do some warm-ups. I'm going to tell you to do something. You can do it forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. Okay, I want you to start with wiggle your finger. You can wiggle your finger forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I want you to wiggle your finger and pull on your earlobe. Here's your ear, your earlobe. Okay, one, two, three, go. You can do it and do it and do it until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I'm gonna make it even harder. I'm gonna ask you to wiggle your finger, pull on your ear, and click your tongue like this. Are you ready? Wiggle your finger, pull in, go. Freeze. If you stop, you really are a good listener. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, they're in my lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Very good. Can you do it faster? Let's see if we can do it faster. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth but do not let them in. I wonder, can you do it faster? Let's see, take a deep breath. You ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. I'm all ready now. Again, I'm in my dress, my apron, and I'm going to come closer so you can see my tummy. I know an old lady who swallowed an oar. Oh, what a bore to swallow that oar. And there is more. I know an old lady who swallowed a sail. Boy, did she wail when she swallowed that sail. She swallowed the sail if she swallowed the oar. And there is more. I know an old lady who swallowed a motor, motor as in a motorboat. It was the kind of motor used by a boater. She swallowed the motor, she swallowed the sail, swallowed the sail, she swallowed the oar, and there is more. I know an old lady who swallowed a paddle. Oh, what a battle it was to swallow that paddle. She swallowed the paddle, she swallowed the motor, swallowed the motor, she swallowed the sail, swallowed the sail, she swallowed the oar, and there is more. I know an old lady who swallowed a whole boat. She just opened her throat and swallowed that boat. And there is no more. Burp, oh my goodness. Lots of water in there. Speaking of water, I am going to read to you a book called Fish is Fish by Leo Leone. Fish is Fish. At the edge of the woods, there was a pond, and there was a minnow and a tadpole, and they swam among the weeds. They were inseparable friends. That meant they were always together. One morning, the tadpole discovered that during the night he had grown two little legs. Look, he said triumphantly, I am a frog. Nonsense, said the minnow. How could you be a frog if only last night you were a little fish, just like me? They argued and argued until finally the tadpole said, Frogs are frogs and fish is fish, and that is that. <clears throat> 
In the weeks that followed, the tadpole grew tiny front legs and his tail got smaller and smaller. And then one fine day, a real frog now, he climbed out of the water and onto the grassy bank. <clears throat> the minnow too had grown and became a full-fledged fish. He often wondered where his four-footed friend had gone, but days and weeks went by and the frog did not return. Then one day, with a happy splash that shook the weeds, the frog jumped into the pond. Where have you been? asked the fish excitedly. I've been about the world, hopping here and there, said the frog, and I have seen extraordinary things. <clears throat> like what? said the fish. Birds, said the frog mysteriously. Birds! And then he told the fish about the birds who have wings and two legs and many, many colors. As the frog talked, his friend saw the birds fly through his mind like large feathered fish. What else, said the fish impatiently, and this is what he saw in his mind. Cows, said the frog. I saw cows. They have four legs, horns, eat grass, and carry pink bags of milk. And this is what the fish thought he saw in his mind. He forms pictures in his mind like we do when you're not watching television or movies. You just listen and you form pictures in your mind. And people, said the frog, men, women, children, and he talked and talked until it was dark in the pond. But the pictures in the fish's mind was full of lights and colors and marvelous things, and he couldn't sleep. Ah, if he could only jump out like his friend and see that wonderful world. And this is how he thought people looked in his mind. And still more pictures of what he thought he saw. The cows and the birds and the people. And that's the way he thought he saw them. And so the days went by. The frog had gone and the fish just lay there dreaming about birds in flight, grazing cows and those strange animals all dressed up. All of them that his friend called people. One day he finally decided that come what may, he too must see them. And so with a mighty whack of the tail, he jumped clear out of the water and onto the bank. He landed in the dry warm grass and there he lay gasping for air, unable to breathe or move. Help, he groaned feebly, weakly. Luckily, the frog, who had been hunting butterflies nearby, saw him. With all his strength, he pushed him back into the pond. Still stunned, the fish floated about for an instant. Then he breathed deeply, letting the clean, cool air run through his gills. Now he felt weightless again, and with an ever so slight motion of the tail, he could move to and fro, up and down as before. The sun rays reached down within the weeds and gently sifted patches of luminous color. This world was surely the most beautiful of all worlds. He smiled at his friend, the frog, who sat watching him from a lily pad. You were right, he said. Fish is fish. Okay. 
I have with me five little boats. Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little boats sitting on the sea. The first one said, five mighty ships are we. The second one said, we sail from sea to shore. The third one said, and all for adventure and nothing more. The fourth one said, here comes a ferocious wave. The fifth one said, our boats we must save. Then up to the top of the swell they flew and then down to safety as good as new. I'm gonna to read to you this book called Boat. And if you look closely, you'll see that that mouse has eaten a hole in the cover. Not only has he eaten a hole in the cover, but he's also taken the words away. So we're gonna to have to make up those uh, words in our mind um, by looking at the pictures. And here's a picture of the mouse and he's thinking. I wonder what he's thinking about. And then the next thing we see, he is nibbling on that piece of paper. Huh? And he's nibbled just enough so he can get to the other side. He's awfully blue wonder what it would be. <laughs> he doesn't know, but he's thinking. <laughs> what should he do? There still is that nibbling. I see something blue behind it. So he keeps nibbling and nibbling and nibbling and we're beginning to see more blue, maybe a sky or something like that. He's nibbled a complete square, or almost a square, maybe a rectangle. And what do you see? I see sky and the ocean, and look at the water splashing out. And he's nibbling and nibbling and nibbling until, actually it's a rectangle. He's nibbled a rectangle, but what do you see? You see the ocean and seagulls and uh, a man who is sailing on a board with a sail all by himself, letting the wind take the sail. And over here, that mouse is folding the paper in half. And then I see he's about ready to fold the corner down. And what do we see? Oh, the man on the, on the boat fell. And right close, we see someone with a mask on and a snorkel. And the snorkel has its tip out of the water so that person underneath the water can breathe. Take the air in and blow it out. Oh my goodness. Now he's starting to fold some more on that piece of paper and there's water all over. And oh, what do we see now? We see a rowboat and a big ship, another seagull.
And still that mouse continues to fold. And oh my goodness, there goes the ship. And more boats. And that rowboat over in the side. wonder what that mouse is folding. Well, here's the water. And can you guess what the mouse has folded and made? If you guessed a boat, you were right. Well, remember I told you that there was a a uh, man with a snorkel and a mask. And he also probably had on his feet that <laughs> it's one thing you slip your foot in. You have two of these and they're called fins and you paddle, 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 paddle in the water. It's very heavy, but it, it's webbed like a duck who can paddle very well in the water. And then I have the mask that helps you see Keep your eyes open and see under the water. And your nose gets covered. You can see. And then, here is that snorkel. Now this is one end for your mouth. And this is the other part. This part stays up above the water so you can breathe in and out. And if you want to see how funny I look, this is how it works. You put this mouthpiece in your mouth. I'm breathing through my snorkel. Well, we've read, I think, Rainbow Fish at some other time. And those of you know Rainbow Fish, here's Rainbow Fish with all those pretty sparkly silver scales. Rainbow Fish, Rainbow Fish, beautiful as can be, happily swimming under the sea. The other fish begging for her tiny shiny scales, excuse me. No, no, she emphatically wails. Poor selfish rainbow fish, now she's all alone. I have no friends, she moans. Suddenly an idea begins to form in her head. Why, I could share just one with each fish instead. Rainbow fish, rainbow fish happy as can be. She has friends now, and one scale, as you can see. Well, I was telling you about the mask and the snorkel, and the snorkel is just slightly above the water, so whoever's using it can breathe. Under the sea, under the sea, there's so many creatures that happen to be. There's a sparkly starfish moving its rays, propelling them and crawling in all different ways. The jellyfish moves with long waving arms, hanging down and showing its magnificent charms. The scary shark shows its white large teeth moving so quickly about the beautiful coral reef. An eye behind my snorkel, goggles and fins, observe these great creatures. So you see, who really wins? Me. All right, I know some of you already know this, maybe all of you, baby shark. And we're gonna do baby shark, and the baby shark, baby shark, mama shark, Daddy shark, great white shark, with his teeth, great white shark. Grandma shark, no teeth. I have my teeth on the grandma, grandma shark. Here they come. Shark attack. Swim real fast. Whew. Safe and sound. And that's the end. Okay. Baby shark, mama shark, daddy shark, great white shark, 
grandma shark. Here they come. Shark attack. Swim real fast. Safe and sound. That's the end. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> baby shark to do to do. Baby shark to do to do. Baby shark to do to do. Baby shark. Mama shark to do to do, mama shark to do to do, mama shark to do to do, mama shark. Daddy shark to do to do, daddy shark to do to do, daddy shark to do to do, daddy shark. Okay, great white shark. Great white shark to do to do, great white shark to do to do, great white shark to do to do, great white shark. Grandma shark to do to do, grandma shark to do to do, grandma shark to do to do, grandma shark. Here they come to do to do, here they come to do to do, here they come to do to here they come. Shark attack to do to do, shark attack to do to do, shark attack to do to do, shark attack. Swim past. Swim real fast to do to do, swim real fast to do to do, swim real fast to do to do, swim real fast. <sighs> safe and sound to do to, safe and sound to do to do, safe and sound to do to do, safe and sound. And that's the end to do to do, that's the end to do to do, that's the end to do to do, that's the end. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's see if we can uh, find the spider. I have a a little spider with me, but he's kind of funny. Sometimes he doesn't like to come out and play. And other times he does, but you know, I'm gonna see if I can find him here. Oh, a spider, 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 come out. Uh-oh, he's hiding. He's inside there, he's hiding. How do we get him to come out? Well, how about on the count of three, we say, oh, spider, come out. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. <gasps> I see an eye, but he's still not out. Oh, dear, what do we do? Maybe we were too loud. Do you think we were too loud? All right, let's whisper. At the count of three, go, Oh, spider, come out. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. I see his eye, but he still won't come out. How are we ever going to make him come out? Hmm? Well, let's see. We did it loud, and we did it whisper. I know, let's use the magic word. We can kind of whisper because I think we scared him the first time. We're just to say, one, two, three, oh spider, come out, please. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, oh spider, come out, please. Huh? There he is, there he is. Huh? We did it. Okay, I'm going to sing a song, and I want you to sing just what I sang after me, like an echo. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Very, very busy, very, very busy, spinning my web, spinning my web. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Story hour is over, story hour is over. See you next week, see you next week. Bye-bye.